Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss the preparation plan and strategy for candidates who are going to appear for the Civil Services Mains Examination 2021. I prefer to call this as the Progressive Preparation Strategy. The reason being, there is nothing separately called Mains Examination as such. The scheme of the examination, within the scheme, we have the prelims, the mains return as well as the mains interview. So the return part of the mains examination is nothing but a separate stage within the examination. This is not a new examination. Okay. So I would like to share certain important guidelines with you so that you can attend the examination well and come out with flying colors first of all many of us we have a incorrect understanding of the mains examination mains examination is more about reproducing the existing knowledge on paper this is the main challenge for each and every aspirant that's why each year you see many students who are strong in knowledge they will not clear the mains return or else they will attend the interview but they will not get a rank. So the challenge is to reproduce the existing knowledge on paper. In the mains examination UPSC focuses on the conceptual knowledge. For the prelims the weightage is more on facts even though concept is also important. But when it comes to mains the weightage is mainly for concepts. Apart from that, certain facts have to be memorized, especially for subjects like history, geography and science. But overall, mains examination is all about conceptual knowledge. The greatest mistake that is done by most aspirants in the mains examination is that between prelims to mains, instead of practicing answer writing, instead of trying to reproduce the existing knowledge on paper, most of them, they will keep on studying unnecessarily they will keep on dumping their mind with more and more information this is a great mistake they will also study current affairs more so this will actually limit our ability to think this will simply destroy our analytical knowledge so don't do this mistake study less keep current affairs very very limited if you have already studied for one year so current affairs from now on just go through newspaper not more than 15 minutes a day this is more than enough questions in mains examination will be based on the latest developments but within the answer you have to reproduce knowledge only okay so don't dump all the facts figures statistics and so on within the answer current affairs based question but you are going to use your mind analyze and reproduce them conceptual knowledge all right now let's see what an aspirant has to study during this span between the prelims and mains examination so this is very crucial when it comes to subjects like economy polity science environment and so on already you will be having enough knowledge you can include society also such subjects already you'll be having knowledge so the challenge is to reproduce the existing knowledge so here don't study much especially polity economy no need to study much at all right when it comes to subjects like history geography you have to study you have to value add okay for example in geography you have to study specifically for the syllabus under mains the resources location of industries and so on similarly for history also somewhat you have to go in depth you have to memorize some facts so these two subjects alone, fact-based subjects, you are going to value add. Otherwise for uh, polity, economy and so on, don't study much, keep it limited. Right? Apart from that, under the main syllabus, there are some topics that are specific for the mains examination. Here you have to do some value addition. For example, civil services in democracy, disaster management, citizens, charter, internal security these stuff these parts within mains gs you can clear within a matter of days so all these combined in around 
10 days you can finish so here try to qualitatively study understand the concepts here also you have to keep practicing reproduce the knowledge right apart from that the three main subjects that you have to mainly focus study during these 2.5 months are optional ethics and world history these are the three main subjects specific for mains that you are going to study intensively till the mains examination right so mainly focus on the three subjects apart from that regarding gs main specific topics whatever i already mentioned keep study right current affairs this is the number one enemy for many students we see regularly many students each year already they would have written mains they will fail to qualify for interview okay or else they will attend interview also but overall main score would be less if you analyze closely the big mistake they do is that they keep on studying the facts they will keep studying from magazines websites and so on this is the mistake so current affairs kindly keep it limited don't study for more than 15 minutes a day trust me this will do wonders so current affairs please keep it limited overall ethics world history optional and specific parts of gs please do two full revision before attending mains exam so first revision can be somewhat long revision second revision can be a fast revision so do two revisions overall for optional two revisions must so don't compromise on optional so this is the study plan for you the next important thing is test that is practice this is very very crucial before attending test please keep in mind you have to do a very very important activity using the existing knowledge you keep taking notes write notes for important topics within the main syllabus larger topics for example agriculture sustainable development women empowerment civil services defense security and so on so larger topics within mains you keep taking notes don't refer to any book or internet using your existing knowledge try to reproduce the knowledge on paper this is a very important activity this will do wonders so start doing this from now on keep taking notes in the form of synopsis please take notes using existing knowledge for example let's say social issues problems faced by vulnerable sections of society so you put this topics okay social issue problem faced by vulnerable sections of society in society already you will be having adequate knowledge regarding such issues so try to download the knowledge from your mind so you can put subtopics women tribals bpl people scs farmers and so on so under each topic you list down the issues the problems faced and you write down the solutions also already you'll have studied the name of the schemes and so on so write the name of the welfare schemes under each subtopic so keep taking notes this will surely do wonders apart from the notes you have to do answer writing practice first thing take previous year paper starting from the year 2013 take gs paper 1 2 3 4 and essay try to solve answers at home whatever you are able to solve solve it so this activity has to be done for one hour each day compulsorily so solving the previous year mains papers don't rush don't stress yourself no need to solve all the question in case if the question is somewhat simpler you can leave it so try to solve some challenging questions okay apart from that simpler questions also you can solve start with simpler question slowly graduate to the difficult question so daily one hour this activity is mandatory and the last thing test series join test series in any academy it is up to you whether it is free or paid but don't take test from many academies this itself is a big mistake i often see students doing this mistake don't try to obtain knowledge from the test series it's wrong test series should be used as a tool for reproducing the knowledge obtaining writing 
प्रैक्टिस स्किल एंड स्पीड एनालिटिकल थिंकिंग सो फॉर दीज ओनली यू आर यूसिंग टेस्ट सो टेक टेस्ट इन लिमिटेड मैनर बट इन क्वालिटेटिव मैनर दिस मंत्र फॉर सक्सेस इन द मेन एक्सामेशन so please do this right so overall please keep these things in mind once again let me summarize studying in a focused manner limited manner avoid unnecessary memorizing of the news practice again and again in a qualitative manner take test in a limited manner develop analytical thinking use the existing knowledge download the existing knowledge from the mind writing practice skill speed this is what is required for mains please don't try to copy another person don't try to take ready made templates from the internet mains examination upsc awards march for content only i tell you trust me decoration underlining crayons color nothing probably a person would have written well apart from that she would have also decorated well she would have good she would have obtained a good score upsc here has given good score not for the decoration but for the content okay so with my own experience i can assure you this so i used to get the maximum slab of marks in gs when i was an aspirant so i used to write in a very simpler effective manner with a single pen only i used to write i will underline the important subheadings alone so decorations all these stuff don't work in the ias examination so don't waste time and energy doing all these things okay friends i hope you will follow the advice and uh, do well in the mains examination i wish you all the very best thank you